Aleluia. There are days and there are certain days. Today will be to everyone gathered together in every place or alone somewhere a certain day in your life. There are days and there are certain days. The Lord, God of heaven, will make today a certain day for you. A day you will need to open a diary to remember. A day that will define the events of your life from now. There are days and there are certain days. An encounter with God in truth and in deed makes a day a certain day. Blessed be the day I met him. Blessed be several other days he met me. You see me reading out dates. I couldn't get you the timing because of how certain those days were. I knew when I stepped into royalty, 1970. I got saved, 69. I never had anybody preach it. He met me. You have redeemed as a priest and a king. And it affected my movement and my appearance on his own. It's a certain day. A day he met me. No we don't. From the grace which I prosper, my God. Encounter with the world, which is an encounter with God, makes a day a certain day. I knew when I stepped into prosperity for eternity, anger of people, uh, goodwill of people has no effect. Actually, economy has no effect. Today, be a certain day in your life. Yeah. I knew the day he met me and delivered the mystery of your growth. Life. March 24, 1984. Today must be a certain day in your life. What I'm saying is not in my note, it's in my heart. It doesn't need a note. I know the date he said to me, that's a wife. No guess what? I know the day for me, thou shalt not borrow. I will bless you. You will learn to nations. Provide it. You don't join what they do. October 4, 1981. All these people are going around here and there. They, they, they just read these stories. Today, we will hear mysteries. In the name of Jesus Christ, there are too many proofs on ground across the nations 
that this is not a fabricated ministry. It's not a fabricated It's not a reformed ministry, no. And this is not a fake man. Fake man can produce real results. And when the result is not limited to you, but to your sons and daughters around the world, my God, I've been telling you, we'll be having problem landing jets on this ground. Yes. Tenable testimonies. What do I call it? Tenable. Not tenable. Tenable. <laughs> Don't you know what I'm saying? Tenable testimony. Amen. Tell him. Yes. <laughs> Tell him the testimony. Amen. You have to be visionary. Tell them I said so. I have a right to define my world. <laughs> now, today is decree. A certain day in your life. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and get seated. Now, let's hear the conclusion of the matter. <laughs> the ultimate of this prophetic phase is to baptize you into the realm of more than a conqueror. Which implies you are living here with a new name. Yeah. Do you truly believe it? Yeah. Somebody was stripped of all that she had and had the word of the Lord and plugged into it and strange things showed up. The word must hear your testimony. Every encounter that I had, I've had, very good or acceptable or seeable level is when they manifest to the world. They told me a secret. I engaged with it and they showed me to the world. Whatever you receive today, the world will see it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Another conclusion is that Shiloh this year will be your greatest experience in your work with God to date. The name of Jesus. All oh, more than conqueror personalities in scriptures were all men and women of faith. What shall I say more for the time will not permit me? There's a the list is ended of men and women who through faith. Subdued kingdoms. That's the mystery behind imagine as more than a conqueror. Who through faith. And faith is not just believing God, faith is actually obeying God that to believe it. To prove that you believe him. Obeying God. 
show me your faith without your works, and I'll show you my faith by my works. And that's why we need the spirit of faith that will not just receive in the heart, but will drive you into engaging with it. He will build this sanctuary in one year. No, sit down. Let's think about it. The reality of this statement. So we can know what to return back to God and tell him. That when we appraise what you said on all technical platforms, it didn't do very much. Would you change it? It's, it's, you are driven. The spirit of faith drives you. That's why you don't just, you, don't just, I don't need it. You don't have it. You're in one spot. <laughs> it drives you. And Jesus was driven by the spirit. He drives you. Everybody that will ever Manifest is more than conqueror status, must have the spirit of faith. Now, wait. It's time to get the aircraft. <laughs> no, I, no thought of it. No name of any aircraft, no nothing. And then you, you are bold enough without a shake in your heart. God told me this morning it's time to get the aircraft. On a Saturday morning. And now, if you give according to what, I mean, uh, what you have is acceptable, now God is not in need. You will give as decided and comfortable. And announce only once. No reminder by God. The suit of faith drives you. <laughs> you need a drive. You know, some of the things you hear that God told you in person is how you are driving to go. Not to go, it will be night. Mm. If I go and I, I don't go, if I now go, what will I say? <laughs> you know, we dance around the same place. But when you are fired with the suit of faith, you move without staggering. Some of the things I say, you know, I'm driven. Amen. But I said that I go to bed and, and rest. <laughs> Whosoever wants to try, let him come. A lion, whether it's asleep or awake, is a lion. Yeah. If you can't find the sheep, clean a lion. I said, the lion will be sleeping. I thank God. <laughs> Even the smell of a lion will kill a goat. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We are getting that here. Amen. Yeah, people don't know the worth of this thing, so they just uh, you know. Uh, go nowhere. When the income of each one was 18,000 in a year. Now, I didn't mention the one before because I mentioned the, the, you may not, uh, you may not stay with God, you may run away. <laughs> Amen. My title was there. No, that's their level. That's our level, all of us. What keeps you going is the spirit of faith at work in you. Yeah. Keeps driving. You can't see the realities of what we call realities. You see heavenly realities. You see God's integrity. Envelopes you, cocoons you. It's not just at this journey. You need the spirit of faith to keep going without staggering. You need the spirit of faith. It shall be a certain day in your life. Contend for the faith that was once delivered 
unto the saints. Paul was writing to Timothy the faith that was in her grandmother, which was also in her mother, that faith was in her, in him. So it, it, it's, it's the spirit coming from one generation to another. We have been also the same spirit of faith. It's the same for all generations. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. What this will do is this, as it enters you, it becomes an asset for your generations after you. The faith which your grandmother, Louise, and your mother, Eunice, that same faith is in you. It just goes on, goes on, goes on. Now, receive it today, don't delay, in the name of Jesus. I'm not sweating up. I'm just having a nice time. I got up 4.30 a.m. yesterday and never saw the bed till after the night service. Through faith. He said, he said by faith, Sarah has said, yes. receive strength. That's right. But you don't know what this thing is. It impacts on all the rest of your life. One night we were in Yola and Satan wanted me dead. I said, go to your room. He said, no. Because I said in my heart, I'm going for that service in the morning. <laughs> I'm going for that service in the morning. What? <laughs> By 5, 5 15, they're about. <laughs> Nonsense. with you. Even when you are asleep, you need the, the principles of faith will never match the effect. The reason you start guys are you operate at the principles level. When you step into the spirit of faith level, you are staggering with him. destiny. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us and he will deliver us. So don't pity us. Even if he does not, not your given image forever. To hell with your given image. Now, in the name of Jesus, I decree your own encounter today with the spirit of faith. I've never seen a dime from books in my life. That's why I did something for you from the books. I buy them to give. I buy the books I wrote to give. All the authors on our platform, no reality. We buy to distribute and put it to reproduce. Till date, I've been publishing since 85. I've not seen a dime from books in my life. I said, this is my money. I've just finished signing the document for Shiloh Sacrifice. I won't let you know what to send it. I'm offering the sacrifice to God. Some can fast and pray for that for the next 10 years. They may not see because you can't see through fasting. And you know what I mean? The glory of the Lord, it has no sorrow. Since you have been jumping after me over 40 years now, you see me one day or day it is. One day you came to the house, you told me, dread. You said, with all these challenges, <laughs> so you also went and change. Amen. No challenges. They're just opportunities to step to the next level. 
Faith is not see trouble, troubles. It's at rest in the midst of the storms. Faith is at rest in the midst of the storms. It's that rest you need. And they that believe that enter. So you need to go to enter that rest. In the name of Jesus, this encounter will terminate every anxiety, every apprehension, every unrest in your life. Now, Peter said, such as I have, give I one can give what he does not have. I'm blessed to be endowed with the spirit of faith in tangible dimensions. Tangible dimensions. I knew when it landed, today it will land on you. I knew when it landed, today, yours will land on you. We are in the days of the spirit of just man made perfect in the body of Christ. Hebrews 12, 22, 24. And John came forth in the power and spirit of Elijah. Luke 1, 17. The spirit of just man made perfect is accessible to anyone that desires access. I want double of the spirit upon me. And so it's the spirit of God that was at work in Elijah that Elisha was craving. A sudden peace, the serenity around him the authority upon his life. <laughs> I don't care if smoking, but I want the good spirit. My God, the spirit upon thee. The spirit upon thee. <laughs> Amen. And he got it with proofs. Many will get it here today. some things don't get across. You want it for ego. My God. How about this something in 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 11? Give me a man child and I'll give it to you. My God. That's when you got the answer. Whatever you will use to serve God, you will so good to get. Now what to, whatever you will use to serve God, you will so good to get from God. What, whatever it's not plan. I'm giving you instruction. Whatever you will use to serve God, you will not struggle to get it from him. Yeah. Give me a man child, and I will give him to you. Don't say, now you got it. You are trying to get it for competition with your other competitor in the house. To show them. No. <laughs> give me a man child, and I will give him to you. You know, nobody ever struggles to get what he will use to serve God. He said you ask and do not receive because you ask to spend it on your own passion, your own, your own lust. James 4, 2. On your own lust. On your own lust. Yes, they must know that I'm there. My God. I'll show them in this city. This nation must know. 
Lord, I want to open the spirit of Papa. I go, I'll show them. You say, you say you are not ready. You are not ready for it. This is not for show. The gift of God is not for show. Everything from heaven is released to advance his kingdom on the earth. To advance his kingdom on the earth. To advance his kingdom on the earth. Now, let me see how to tell you how the spirit of faith works. One day I stood up in an early morning prayer at the personal supplication time and I said, Jesus, give me a thousand souls this month. I go, and, and then he came. Uh -uh. I said, now, give me a thousand souls this week. They're talking about faith. They're talking about the effect. Let me just it. Now, we come, came up this year and I said, uh, is he me here? Okay. I said the target for the year for our team is 140,000. How many? His foot or feet shook. Then we gave balance. One for, I've never targeted that in my life. We got 148 or something? Huh? 148,000 into the kingdom of God. Come and give the Lord praise. That's what he gives it for. Not for sure, not for traveling around the world, doing nothing. There's nothing about God in your life. Without God in the center of your life, you are limited. With what faith can deliver. <laughs> Amen. Can I tell you what drove me into reading my departmental books? Can I cope with I hated poverty in the church. In our days, they always use as poor as church. It, it pays me. That's my father. It pays me. Can you imagine this? This man from a very poor father. You know how it will pay you? It was, it gripped my soul, sir. That's why I say, I've not seen this thing. I don't want to see this poverty in this in the church of Christ before I go to heaven. Amen. Amen. This year by grace, I don't know what other members of the family have done. All of them have done. I have not asked, but I did a hundred churches at a time. A hundred churches at a time. <laughs> That's what the church is for. It's not for show, you know, we are the big guys. I know a church is not one million. You know, you can't build a church in one, one million. I know some of you have a lot of faith. You can build in one million. <laughs> a church building is not one million. It's not ten million. Wake up, my friend. Wake up! Your prosperity will be limited to your heart for God and the interest of his kingdom. Now I tell you that by authority. John D. Rockefeller, the first American billionaire, was an addicted kingdom promoter. At the time he gave 140,000 million to his church for the education fund. 140 million dollars. No, 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 wait, wait a minute to know where your heart is. If God gives you $100 million today, how much can you ever release? Even if your angels are crying. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's to tell you how long you are or where you want to go. God did a drama for me one day. I prayed and I said, Jesus, if I have a pigeon car, I would like to give to this pastor. Because where he's going, he can easily maintain the car there. The following day, a pigeon car came to my house. Following day! Give me a child! I'll give it for you! So I'm going to go around in circles and... Uh, 
being shown around, sleeping in reserve for, for 40 days, or paying for a day permanently. Like, can you imagine? I just thank God for the blessing. So we pay for one hotel in Dubai. And uh, anytime I come, I don't want them to use this room. Uh, are you the owner? <laughs> they just put people down your behalf. You go to them. <laughs> Is that a show? Somebody saw this changing. Without a heart that sees us after God, we are limited. In everything. Somebody's told this to me this morning. So the spirit of faith has its limitations. It delivers to the love of your love for God, the love of my love for God. It has limitations. It has limitations. You ask and receive not because you ask amaze that you may consume it upon your loss. What some people give for offering their churches is not worth the entertainment on Sunday. You know what I mean? Their own entertainment bill on Sunday. Yes, bring him, bring that one here. You come here, sit down, eat, drink. And then what you give in this church for their service it's a leftover. Okay, take that to your father. Take that to your governor. Will you receive your person? Oh, no, I'm saying the table of the Lord is contained. Let's just drop something for them. We are in charge. <laughs> May you not be discharged. <laughs> now, he said, Freely have I given you, so freely give. Now, in the heart of my heart, I'm not holding back anything. Because it's given. It's not achieved. So, I release that virtue of authority, that virtue of honor, that virtue of command, over the circumstances of life upon your life today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. God will turn you to a surprise to the world. Yeah. As you live here today, what eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, which has entered the heart of any man, shall be what God will start doing in your life. <laughs> Ask those who worship in any of our churches. No one has been put under any pressure at any time from day one to the last. No. No. The spirit of faith and you to live a pressure-free life, pressure-free life. You rejoice in the reality of your future. You live in your future in the present. <laughs> you, are, you are living in the reality of your future in the now. How it does. Alas, Master, what shall we do? And they that are with us are more than they that are with them. The Lord opened the eyes of this jittery boy. <laughs> yeah. He saw the mountains around it. The fiery armies of heaven. Faith sees the impossible. Yes. He sees the reality of what is written. Under all circumstances. Thank you, Jesus. Pressure is over in your family. Pressure is over in your business. In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Father. You can't miss your place with the spirit of faith at work. The ten spies missed their place, but Joshua and Caleb got it. You will get it. Amen. Unbelief will not destroy your destiny. Amen. The cheapest way to deal with the evil heart of unbelief is to possess the spirit of faith. It gives no room to it. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 12 talks about the evil heart of unbelief. The devil is behind all activities of unbelief to rob us of what belongs to us. His mandate is still there to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that you and I may have life and have it more abundantly. Everybody is declared free today from the torture of the spirit of unbelief. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, the greatest of his characteristics is our most treasurable asset in the kingdom. Acts 24 verse 14 empowers us to believe what? All things. He said, but this I confess, but this I confess, that in the way that they call heresy, so worship I, the God of my fathers, believing all things, my God, all things, no matter how unbelievable they may appear, believing all things. So many is heretic. Believe in all things. Believe in all things. To move to Canaan land from time, you must have that capacity given by the spirit of faith. You know, Paul saying, and we have him, the spirit of faith. It empowers us to believe all things. Empowers men to believe all things. No pros and cons. Believe all things. And the just shall live by his faith. So it opens up destinies. Believe all things. We can't believe all things without that mystery at work in us. I don't know the meaning of doubt. I may doubt you if your character is not straight. When you come to God and His word, I'm tired. From today, nothing from God in your private studies, in the teachings in churches, will be difficult for you to line up with. You know what? Some believers will never tight. They don't believe. The capacity to believe that when I remove one out of these uh, ten, it will not be more. No. In arithmetic, you remove one from ten, it becomes nine. But the way these pastors are saying it, they say, don't believe in the Bible. No, 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 I don't believe that. It's Old Testament. You know, I belong to the New Testament order. <laughs> Amen. 
but it empowers you to believe all things. Imagine if you believe all things you have ever had. Where you be down? What an asset. You are living with that asset here. Can I hear your loudest amen? Can I hear your loudest amen? It's settled. Very quickly to live off from this point. The spirit of faith speaks to the country. You don't have to bother when you are confronted. It stands up for you from inside. When challenge, it springs up like a fountain. When you are confronted, don't bother about what to say. It is the spirit of your father that speaks in you. Faith is a speaking spirit, and it speaks to us. Those things that uh, you know, children of Shakarebe were saying, could not be natural statements. They were easily forth from the speaking father. <laughs> That's the spirit of faith at work. Whatever you believe, when you are challenged, it jumps up. It jumps up. It jumps up. It comes forth out of you. The spirit of faith is a speaking spirit. Amen. Some fellows came to threaten us in those days from our church area in Kaduna. See, in 10 days, you must move from this place. I said, send for the man to come. I said, tell them, in 10 days, you're all dead. Is that uh, a nice way to talk? The man said, eh? tell them, in 10 days, you're all dead men. He went small. I came by, excuse me, I was sent. The spirit of it is speaking spirit. Whatever you believe inside you jumps out when you are challenged. Can I hear your amen? amen. I had some fever many, many years ago, and then my very compassionate uncle said, Since you have prayed and you are not well, let's go to the hospital. I on him. Who told you I'm sick? Who told you I'm not well? As I was shouting that, I was well. <laughs> Same moment. Spirit of faith is a fighting spirit. It fights anything unwanted. Every unwanted thing in you, it fights it. It fights it out. They tell you, say, not me. They say, look, no blood pressure. I said, not me. He said, look, I just, no necessary. He vanished. Vanished. It's a speaking spirit. It speaks the naturally unspeakable. In the name of Jesus, we are going with that asset. No mountain will move without you saying to it, move. No mountain will ever clear off without you declaring it unshakably with your mouth. If you will sell to this mountain, or you can say to it, you are going nowhere. You are going nowhere. You are going nowhere. You can't say to the mountain, and there are mountains that are so mountainous that even the talk, you can be dizzy. But with speak of faith, stop there. Where are you going? Don't dare it. The mountain will just keep back. No. I can't stand here. That's what happened. 
My wife said she had miscarriage. Isn't that something to be compassionate about? No! It cannot happen. Can I have my food, please? And no recourse, no discussion. No how do you feel? Now you can't feel anything more than what I said. <laughs> miscarriage cancelled. It's a speaking spirit. My God. So don't assume it. Don't just teach it. I was teaching prosperity before I found it. Oh. So one can be teaching what they don't have. And be doing as if you have it. And when your challenge it shows up. <laughs> they called me one time and said, my wife was gasping. And I was going to the crusade and I said, she's well in Jesus' name. <laughs> and I went. Nothing was pulling in my spirit, sir. It speaks it and it stays there. <laughs> Nothing is never finished in my place because we don't see it. It can't finish. It cannot finish. No. The things that finish your house will say so. But where are you women? Oil is finished. Water is finished. Everything is finished. Everything is also finished. <laughs> they finish it. Sir. <laughs> they finish everything. Ever there is nothing in this house to cook. Now there's a bag of rice here. <laughs> Amen. That's the the beauty of the spirit of faith. It gets it done through you. It wasn't David speaking of. He said through faith. They stopped the mouth of lions. Goliath was a lion human being. He was brawling. Anybody. And when he roared, when he roared, they all ran into their caves. My God. David said nonsense. Today, the Lord who gave me the lion and the bear, will give it into my hand and I will cut off your neck. What nonsense. You know what killed Goliath first? That his mother was running towards him. You know what, what? Maybe kill the Goliath. I mean, uh, kill the lion. The lion has never seen anybody pursue him. It's you to pursue people. Now, if someone is not pursuing you, <laughs> the lion will move. <laughs> the spirit of faith is a driving force. It's a driving spirit. It doesn't turn back from battle. It moves you to the point of conquest on any matter. That's what I'm going back home with. So today is a certain day in your life. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. So it speaks the unspeakable. It makes incredible moves. It had never rained when God said to Noah, go and build an ark. And he went ahead. Moved by faith. Hebrews chapter 1, number 7. Through faith, Noah, the word of God, moved. Is ever at rest in the midst of the storm? Why are you so afraid? How is it that you have no faith? It dares the undeniable, they dare the tiny for and conquer it. It delivers the impossible. And then they came out of the lion's den without a scratch. Give us time. We'll tell you your dream. He came out as head of all magicians, the chardings, all the charm makers. <laughs> they dove their car for him. How do I get it?
There is no jump in the queue. I will take up the spirit which is upon you and I put upon them. God is the umpire. So you can't use uh, facial uh, things to get it. God is the one who determines who qualifies for it. You remember the story in Numbers chapter 11? Get them together. And I will take also you to you and I will put upon them, and shall prophesy with you, and bear the burden with you. So it's to join the chariot of advancing the cause of God on the earth. Without prejudice to the, your personal benefit from it, the benefit of peace, unperturbed rest, triumph in your life, your family, and all that concerns you. No, he didn't give us switches to make us suffer. He gave us switches to enjoy, but we must be mindful that we are willing to give, reach, in good works so it doesn't destroy us. First Timothy 6. Ready to distribute, willing to communicate, thereby may store for themselves against the time to come that they may have eternal life. So what can, can destroy one's eternal life if he doesn't know what to do with it? If he doesn't have no, the right thing to do with it, we don't be worshiping it. We bring out his bank account. I worship you, my bank account. Ah. No one here will be destroyed. Your wealth will not become your wreck. Your wealth will not become your wreck. Your wealth will not become your wreck. Please note that God is the umpire. And God came down and took the spirit of upon Moses and gave one the 70 elders and the prophet said with him. That is Numbers 11 and verse 25. And the Lord came down in a cloud and spoke with him and took the spirit of, that was upon him and gave it unto the seventy elders, and it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. It's coming upon you today. Amen. Let me hear your loudness, amen. amen. Let me hear your loudness, amen. amen. To assess it, identify a carrier. Only those who have it can give it. Go to them that say, Jesus said in that parable of the five and five wives and five foolish virgins, go to them that say, and buy for yourself. You don't go to the wood market to be looking for uh, vehicles for your parts. No. You don't, you don't go to the wood market and be looking for uh, publishing materials. No. Go to them that have it. Go to them that carry it and tap into it. I saw again carrying that heavy treasure. I went after him and you know what? God said to me, my son, David, the button has been passed over to you. Clear. So God is the empire. Proximity does not connote connectivity. Proximity does not connote connectivity. So watch out for your portion. It's coming down heavy on your life. Yeah. And the people exclaim, the spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they bow themselves to him. Whatever bows to the source from where you're coming from, we keep bowing to you. Yeah. You are to minister to one 
first of all, I'm mad. And they say, I know who you are. Is that what he said? Yes. You are what? You are David Oedipo. Madman. I know who you are. You are David Oedipo. Mad in his madness. In his madness. And you have heard that from me before that one of my relations was struck with the spirit of insanity. And as I entered, I was the only one he knew. He didn't know the mother or anybody again. He said, You do know him? He said, I know. Whatever knows your source will keep knowing you from now. Yeah. And may you never abuse it for life. Yeah. May you never put it out for sale. Yeah. I sent him to represent me in one meeting years ago, and people were coming into that meeting. They thought had come in. They, oh, he has come. He has come. By then, the court, he said, the new demand there was taller than me <laughs> and heavier than me, my God. <laughs> they were hearing the sound. They say it was me speaking. This thing is real. Don't fake it. This thing is real. Don't look like it. Just connect with it. Connect with it. Because today must mark the end of your struggles. Yeah. By the spirit of faith, you will gain command of your environment. Yeah. You gain command of your household. Yeah. You gain command of your head. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. So shall it be. Identify a carrier and plug into what he carries. It's God who gave it. And in most cases, he gave it also through those who carry it. And those who carry it from him also give he gives he give others through them. And so it keeps going and going. Jesus will make faith in us when he came. When he comes back, he will make faith inside you. Number five, crave for what he carries. I will not go back. I so live it. I must get it. With these three, I think they said, lift up your right hand and thank God for the provision of access to the spirit of faith. Decorate destiny. Give God thanks. For the provision of access, to the spirit of faith that empowers believers to operate as more than a conqueror, Blessed be your name, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. In the name of Jesus Christ. But every gift of God is sequel to our salvation. Repent and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So new birth is a fundamental requirement for assessing the Holy Ghost, the fountain of God's power in its diverse manifestations. The Spirit of Faith is just one of those operations. But it begins with new birth. Wherever you are this morning, Jesus saved my soul. Maybe you are one saved, but you just wander away. You know, you're just looking for things all your life, looking for things all your life. And the more you look for them, the further they are to you. Say, Jesus, I'm returning back to you. So, for this time, 
you want to be born again? You want to dedicate your life to Christ? Whichever you fall into across the nations of the earth at this time. For that is the beginning of life. Whosoever has the Son of God has life. So that's not the Son of God has not life. We are there this morning, both here on ground and across all the villages around the world and past with, with your own personal device in your hand. Jesus saved me. This is not fake. I'm 52 years young in the faith. I've never seen God life. And you all agree with me, 52 years is no joke. Amen. If I see anybody below 50 to sit down now, you see how many people will sit down. Amen. We have not followed commonly the best peoples. We are telling you what we have seen and heard, and our hands have handled. You want to say, Jesus save me, stand to your feet quickly. 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 God bless you all over the world, wherever you are. Stand to your feet this morning. Jesus, save my soul. Forgive my sins. Make me a child of God. Make me a new creation. You want to dedicate your life to Christ? I've gone away far from you, Lord. I'm coming back home. Now receive me, Jesus. I'm here for you. I want to reconnect with you. God bless 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 you. Except here at the faith tabernacle, in all other places, all the brethren that stood up, please find your way to the altar area. We can't afford it here, the journey is far to the road. So, wherever you are, please stand to your feet here, and we'll be praying right there over you. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Outside and inside, Jesus, save my soul. Please place your on your feet. We are going to pray in a moment, right there where you are. Remain standing, please. Remain standing. Remain standing. Remain standing. Remain standing. Now, across the nations right now, move to the altar area. If you are surrendering your life to Christ, just go on there right now from all the view centers. Go to the front. The pastors are waiting. And we'll be praying right here together. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Now, everyone... All they are standing. Please stop filling your forms for now. And um, bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand to, to heaven. And pray this prayer of faith from the depth of your heart after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud and clear. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again that I may be justified. Right now, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm restored back to the faith. I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. Keep your hands up as I pray. Father Lord, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace that brought them into your kingdom today, let the same grace sustain them to the end. None of you shall fall by the wayside. You will make this journey through to the end. The enemy shall not have any hold on your life anymore. The siege is over. It's a dawn of a new day for you. In the name of Jesus. I cover all of you with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered against the day of Christ. Now, receive grace to live the overcomer's life. And sin shall no more have dominion over you. 
in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please complete your sleeves and pass them over to all the church officials standing along with you. Get seated, please. Church, one more time, give the Lord the biggest hand of praise.